over time. Watch out for Bachman overturning it. Bachman Turner Overdrive taking care of business live in Vancouver. That is, uh, I don't know what year that is. It's really real good. It's good stuff, man. Good stuff, man. Bachman Turner Overdrive. We'll come back to that at the end. We'll come back and listen to the rest of it. Right? Mark Scott, the reporting, taking care of business. And, uh, you know, somebody said, somebody said something very funny. I used to be a sanitation cop. I used to be a garbage cop, right? A cop that would, would follow people around and keep the... A uh, good city clean, a green cop, a cop that, uh, you know, that would uh, keep the city clean, right? And uh, taking care of my, taking care of business of cleaning up the city. And it's, it's, it, somebody made the analogy that now I'm the, uh, I'm the internet cop. I'm the, the, the co- garbage cop online that cleans up the garbage. And that's really what we're doing. We're talking about some, some, you know, garbage people floating around and we're trying to, to, um, you know, and trying to uh, clean up. So, Marcus Conti reporting on the Port Neches uh, explosion in Texas. We'll take a look. Let's just look, look a little bit about what's happening on the ground, what's developing in terms of the, the quote, fugitive at this point, the, the very elusive fugitive, uh, very combative, very. Um, uh, I'll explain it more. So, we have breaking news here in terms of. Uh, not so much what's going on at Port Neches, but what is transpiring as a court filing against this individual. So we'll look at that. Um, so let's do that. And oh, also we're going to look at uh, Gabe Hoffman. Um, the Gabe Hoffman <clears throat> is, a, is a gentleman who he's a, a, a documentary filmmaker who... Uh, is also having a stalker problem of his own, right? So we're going to look at that as well, and uh, look at his lawsuit against one of these, one of the, the similar um, uh, fugitive inside of this particular uh, gang of people that uh, do this sort of thing. So let's let's uh, let's listen for a second. Representative Phelan continues to stay in close contact to assure that. Uh, uh, we, if we have any unmet needs, that the resources are put in place to take care of us. <clears throat> uh, day before yesterday morning, we had approximately nine fires still active within the fence line. By that evening, we were down to three fires. Yes. So that's kind of boring to listen to. I'm just going to. Uh, I just want to review the what's going on on the ground. Oh, here he is. Let's 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 look up here. Well, between the independent contractor firefighters with Williams. And so he's basically giving kudos to the uh, agencies that are involved. Everybody's doing a fantastic job. Nothing new there, right? But he talks nothing about a possible cause of the uh, the allegation. So apparently, somebody heard a boom. The uh, the neighbors were were uh, scared. The radius for all the towers are crumbling because they're they're now incinerated and they're starting to uh, to fall. Right, approximately four of the towers have been compromised. They're falling. Fire is still burning, as you heard. Still no um, no indication of what caused the blaze. Right, so we may be the only ones who may have a and the FBI may have an understanding of. What caused the blaze, right? The creepy, the creepy video guy, right? So, so this is, so this is. Let's talk about this guy because I'm going to read a very uh, uh, at length um, uh, court filing, court letter, letter to the judge in a uh, sort of related case in this uh, matter uh, to again garbage cop clean up the garbage that's you know that's uh, infiltrating online right because this is this shit is crazy man you got guys predatoring predatoring around like attacking people and 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 making making hit videos and hit pieces leave everybody alone leave go for the go for the celebrities but why do you gotta why are you attacking regular people trying to do their job uh, so so dave acton dave swaggered d george swaggered Crazy Dave, Dopey Dave, goes by so many different names online. Dave the actor, actor, Dave Acton the actor. Uh, this is Dave Acton, right? So here's his creepy video one more time. <laughs> this is perfect. You know, I had this really crazy dream. It was really super crazy. So there was this lady in Corpus Christi, 
And she was all upset and anti-government because her daughter... Uh, so we've heard this video before, right? That's the act and video that was reported to the FBI. And now I want to read, I want to read you something because <clears throat> Mr. Um, Swaggart is now uh, saying he's accusing others of crimes. He's online accusing other people of crimes. He's accu accusing this reporter of crimes. He's accusing the, jur the three journalists in this scenario... Uh, uh, Jason Goodman, um, Denise Matow, and myself, Marcus Conti, all criminals. We're all criminals, and he's the innocent guy. So this letter was, uh, Jason, Swaggart is currently using a form, let's call it lawfare, uh, a way of, of weaponizing the court system against people. Right? That's what he's doing. He's part of this kind of gang, this part of part of this cult that is, uh, 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 you know, engaged in this sort of stuff. So what I have to do as a, uh, in defense of myself is I had to send a letter to the court and I'll, and it, it'll explain exactly what's going on. So this letter is sent today. If you're watching this video, it's already been sent to, uh, Stuart Aaron. He's the magistrate judge at the, uh, Southern district of New York court. It's also been sent to the primary judge, uh, uh, Caprione, um, as well. So, dear judge, my name is Marcus Conti, a YouTube journalist. This notice is to inform the court that D. George Swaggart, plaintiff, has willfully and repeatedly engaged in witness tampering in violation of 18 uh, U.S. Code 1512B. On Thursday, September 12, 2019, um, that's not September 12. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, September 12, 2019. I sent a letter to the Honorable Valerie E. Caproni, uh, informing her I was a victim of cyberbullying by the plaintiff. In this regard, I've made myself available as a character witness against the plaintiff. All parties were notified. Since then, plaintiff has ramped up his harassment, threats of frivolous litigation, stalking and bullying against me in a series of even creepier YouTube videos to prevent me from appearing. So that's a little background on who this guy is. It's not just out of the blue that he's stalking me, trying to frame me as some, you know, murderer or whatever, terrorist. More than 47 times, plaintiff has incorporated my name into his incomprehensible, illogical, and now dangerous death cult videos. His latest video, which appears on his misleading I Love SDNY YouTube channel, was published on 11-25-19, and was viewed by his 17,000 subscribers. Two days later, on 11 27 19, uh, there was a massive chemical explosion in the port of Natchez, Texas, that had a striking resemble, resemblance to the dream plaintiff claims he had in that video. This, quote, remarkable coincidence gained national attention and was reported to the FBI. The cause of the blast is still unknown. So I give the link of the, of the uh, video to the judge, judges in this case. In this very real video, plaintiff frames defendant Jason Goodman and myself as kidnappers in a domestic terror operation that uses a flame-throwing drone to blow up LNG tanks in the port of Corpus Christi, Texas. Plaintiff plaints himself as, quote, the, the knight in shining armor who captures the perpetrators and prevents the attack from happening. The third person in the video, or the woman who was kidnapped, is reporter Denise Mattow of Corpus Christi, Texas, who is also named as a witness in this case. Uh, then, on 12-2-19, uh, plaintiff published, publishes a hit piece on his deceptive website, sdny.org, suggesting I was responsible for some sort of hoax. In his report, plaintiff accuses me of the crime of reporting a crime. Plaintiff is so twisted in his delusions, he does not even understand it is not a crime to report a crime, but rather a civil duty. And I give a link to his report. It's, uh, the, the whole um, letter is down below if you'd like to read it and click on the links. Moreover, it should alarm this court that Plaintiff has created a website, a web page that pretends to serve as an information portal to a federal court sdny.org, that's Southern District, New York Court. <laughs> um, plaintiff has no authority whatsoever to host such a site. 
Plaintiff not only remains a troublemaker and a threat to everyone he encounters on YouTube, but now he corrupts the very integrity of this court uh, as well as well. Plaintiff continues to threaten others and myself with frivolous litigation. I'm going to sue you. I am often scared for my safety, and, it, and if it wasn't for the fact that plaintiff has no published legal address, I would place a restraining order on him today. He is a very intimidating person. Here is the law I believe he is in violation of at least 24 times. So tampering with a witness, victim, or an informant. I, I named myself as, an, as a witness. I made myself available. I offered information. I'm a witness, right? And I believe he's trying to say, I could probably find a video where he's saying, Conti, you're going to be a witness in my case. I'll find a video of him actually saying it. So he's, he's, he's naming me as a witness in the case, then turning around intimidating me. Uh, it's, that's called uh, witness tampering. Uh, Roger Stone just got hit with a felony and is looking at jail time for that, 10 years. Moreover, uh, so tampering with a witness, victim, or an informant. Whoever knowingly uses intimidation, threats, or corruptly persuades another person or attempts to do so or engages in misleading conduct towards another person with intent to influence, delay, or prevent the testimony of a person in an official proceeding. And that's what he did, right? He did it in the court and he did it in terms of his aggressive response to my notifying the FBI of this horrific uh, thing that he did, possibly did. So I am in possession of 47 defamation videos made by plaintiff directed at me. 23 were made before announcing myself as a witness and 24 were made after announcing myself as a witness. So 24 videos, 24 counts of harassment and, and witness tampering after, the, after I was named as a witness. All videos are available upon request. I hope this communication stops plaintiff from harassing others and abusing the legal system as he has been doing. I also hope the court will levy severe punitive san sanctions on plaintiff in an effort to correct his behavior. And it was, it was sent to Schwaggard and Goodman. And here's some additional uh, videos to look at. So, so, so just, for, just to, to back up one second. So that is the... That is the situation on the ground. The perpetrator is in a lawsuit using this, this aggressive form of lawfare, intimidating Jason Goodman, who is no saint. Right? We know who Jason Goodman is. If you don't know who Jason Goodman is, look up his name, Crowdsource the Truth Community. And, and, and what, what um, the perpetrator here, the pre, uh, Acton, is doing is is shaking down Goodman, trying to get in his pockets so that he settles out, so that Goodman settles out and gives Acton money. He's shaking him down, claiming that Goodman uh, slandered him or harassed him. It's just, it's so frivolous. It's already been summary judgment by the initial judge that it is a frivolous dispute. Incomprehensible, illogical, online conspiracy kooks, she called them. But it continues anyway because the judge is giving act in enough rope to hang himself at this point. So now you have the background on that. This is uh, just briefly, this is Denise Matow, uh, so that you see her face and hear her voice. Hey there. Just a quick bulletin disclaimer, whatever you want to call it. Um, so she's the, she's the woman in the, in the scenario. That, uh, in the scenario that was apparently, she was the kidnap victim where the two jerks, Marcus Conti and Jason Goodman, were going to kidnap her and tie her up in the scenario. So now you know who Denise Matow is, and she's Truth Convoy on uh, YouTube. I, I did an interview with her. We spoke for an hour, if you want to watch that. It's very credible, in my view, very credible individual. Um, here's Jason Goodman. This is, um, I mean, just Jason Goodman and I were, we did a video way a long time ago. I was on a show like two years ago before when we were friends. <laughs> and then um, we have since not been friends. He, the, here he is at the Epstein trial, sticking an umbrella in my face, right? right? We were talking on the bench. That's uh, 23rd Street in New York City. We were buddies, right? So that's Jason Goodman. You know who Jason Goodman is, right? So, so, that's, um, so, that's, uh, so that's that. So let me just, let me just, I just want to do a little bit of a summary. So, 
So that's the situation, the development, the breaking news in terms of the uh, the accused, right? the the Dave Acton, uh, and what is transpiring in the courts, trying to bring him to justice, trying to quiet this guy down so he stops harming people. So let's let's just jump into the next one. So I have breaking news um, today on the Gabe Hoffman versus. Thomas Schoenberger case. Now, Thomas Schoenberger is kind of a mirror image in the same gang as D. George Swaggart. Right? He's part of this crew with a, a gentleman named uh, Daniel Cromer. There's a Steve Ochram. Uh, these individuals seem to coalesce around uh, uh, Cromer. And the two, the two main players in this gang stock are... Acton and uh, Schoenberger. So Schoenberger is under fire. To crack a, a lewd joke, someone said, right? So Dave, so uh, Gabe Hoffman is a, is a wealthy guy. He's a wealthy, influential guy. He's the film is the docu documentary filmmaker of uh, An Open Secret. He's also a CNBC contributor. Uh, he's a hedge fund manager, right? And someone said, "Uh oh, Schoenberg is up against big Jew money." <laughs> <laughs> so, that's funny, right? Come on, it's just a fucking joke, right? It's not racist. That's it's not it's none of that shit. It's just funny, right? So so here's um here's Mr. Hoffman. The demand is there in order to turn a profit. So Gabe, you've been on our show a lot. You're very bearish on Tesla. I think you might be the one one person who might agree with this call. Can it go to ten bucks? Oh, I believe that ultimately Tesla will go to zero. Uh, any company that's losing billions of dollars and struggling under a mountain of over $10 billion in debt and over $3 billion of current uh, accounts payable do... So just a little taste of it. That's uh, Gabe Hoffman. He's a distinguished gentleman on CNBC. He's a hedge fund guy. He did an excellent documentary. I highly recommend uh, an open secret about um, uh, the pedophile rings that prey on... Uh, young actors in Hollywood. Excellent, excellent stuff. So this gentleman is under fire by this this psychopath creep, uh, Thomas Schoenberger. And why do I call him a psychopath and a creep? Because he's psychopathed and creeped this reporter, as all this this gang does. That's what they do. They they harass you when one's punching you. They keep punching you in in uh, in the form of harassing videos intimidating videos where all you hear is the voice and the deep breath and Conti, we're going to get you. Uh, uh, that's what they do. That's, they never show their face. They never, you, you can't find out where they are. They have no locations. They're wandering. They're vagabonds. They're, they're, um, they're a, a crew of wandering criminals. So here's an example of, of this one, Thomas Schoenberger. And then I'll talk about the, the uh, lawsuit itself. And then I'll break the news I've heard from uh, uh, Gabe Hoffman. He's, I'm going to break some news in terms of that, what the development is in this lawsuit. So here's um, Thomas Scho Schoenberger attacking me in one of, I, I don't know, maybe 30 videos that I have. They're already archived, ready to go. So uh, they've already been turned over to um, uh, Mr. Hoffman as well, if he cares to use them uh, as, uh, as evidence that uh, Schoenberger is exactly who he says he is little rodent face, right? This guy's a career criminal. He's posing as a reporter now. And here he is. I guess, I guess I don't know, it's miles away, right, in Texas? With a video, and he's, he's talking to the FBI. So he's here he is intimidating, intimidating this reporter for notifying the FBI of a crime. Right? And he his buddy, right, because I'm, because I'm, I'm implicating his buddy, Dave Acton, so now Schoenberg is coming to the rescue, and he's going to intimidate me and, and accuse me of crimes, of reporting a crime. So that's, that's Schoenberg. This is what he looks like. Uh, he goes by a lot of different handles. I'm not going to throw them out there because, you know, I don't want people going, yeah, I don't want to give him the satisfaction of having people uh, listen to his nonsense, his bullshit. Let's just like let's let the court settle uh, fill this one out. Oh, I gave it away. So so uh, I'll break the news. So Gabe Hoffman um, is uh, is going to be a guest on the show at some point. And he I reached out to him and I, he says I'm jammed at present. 
organizing and or- archiving evidence for attorneys to file additional lawsuits against additional people. Aha! Uh-huh. So Gabe Hoffman is waking up to the stalking ring. Right? Additional lawsuits are coming, additional people. A few more need to happen ASAP. You will see and understand why. When the lawsuits are filed, it's very sick and egregious defamation with online videos and otherwise. That's Gabe Hoffman. He, he sent me this Saturday, November 30th. Um, I have his permission to, to, to use it. So Gabe Hoffman on the, on the run, on the move uh, against this Schoenberger guy. Here's the lawsuit filed in circuit court. Again, they're very elusive. Uh, as I said, this guy, you don't know where he is. Uh, he apparently is in California. He's, he's a two-time convicted felon stalking stalker, two-time convicted stalker felon with a, a, a number of DUIs, DWIs, a whole pile, literally a pile that I saw of restraining orders and, and civil cases where he's swindling other people. The real, a real fucking character, a real fucking problem. Uh, so hopefully Gabe can um, can take him down, and uh, we support Gabe Hoffman on this channel in his effort to bring this creep to justice. But I also want to just make it known that these this photograph was very hard to obtain, as w- as it was with with Crazy Dave. Uh, it was hard to to find this guy. I want to say also that this guy poses as a, as a a classical pianist. That's a crack of shit. I, he, what he does is he has another website where he has all these videos of, of somebody playing piano. You never see his face. You never see his hands move. But he, he claims that he's the guy playing the piano. And that, that, proves, that, that is starting to prove with significant evidence that that is not him playing. That's his bait and switch where he, he, he brings people in. Oh, what a beautiful musician. What a wonderful musician I, I am. And then he extorts them for favors, for money, for whatever, right? Or he just, he's simply a hired gun who harasses others on behalf of those people. Uh, so who do these people work for? I'm not going to get into the conspiracy. Are they DNC operatives? Are they RNC operatives? Are they, you know, working on behalf of some sort of super PAC? At this point, I don't know. I, a lot of people claim they know. I, I don't know. And I really don't care. All I know is that the actions speak louder than words. You have Acting, a- actively harassing people, f- po- trying to frame them in explosions, in 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 uh, uh, you know terrorist explosions. Whether he's actually going to go and do the explosion so that he could say, "See, I told you, I told you," or he's going to try to break up some sort of mythical conspiracy. I don't know, but that's how these guys operate. Why me? Why Goodman? Why Denise Matow? Uh, you know, why, why, is, why do they target journalists? Because journalists have influence. When I speak, people listen. When, I want to get this idiot off my, off my page. <laughs> when I speak, people listen. Right? That's, that's the reality of it. When, when, when Goodman speaks, people listen. Goodman has a, a significant uh, following. Denise Matow as well. And other reporters, Defango, for example, Lift the Veil, have all been victimized by this uh, crew, Lestat and uh, Conspiracy Distillery has also been victimized by Schoenberger, not so much Acton. Uh, so you see how what they're doing is it's a it's a targeted campaign. It's a campaign of of targeting journalists, people with influence, and trying to paint them as criminals, trying to actual commit actual crimes maybe blowing up a port city and then framing the the uh the journalists with having done it and then ride in like the knight in shining armor to say see i solved the mystery it's so fucking crazy right and we have the evidence we have the evidence of of stalking of conspiracy to commit terror of just just uh, ongoing harassment and bullying online. So so that's my job today. Marcus Conti reporting, taking care of business on this, um, cleaning up the garbage online, cleaning up these creeps. And uh, we're going to continue, man. We're going to clean, continue to clean up the creepy creeps. Yeah.
people see you having fun Just a lion in the sack Tell them that you like it this way It's the work that we avoid And we're all self-employed We love to work and not be all day Happy to take care of me Every day Every day